Um, I grew up in a Baptist church. Um, and my mother and father at home, and it was just an ordinary family. My father worked for the post office, so um, my mother didn't work. And if we were poor, I didn't know, because everything I wanted, I got. I remember riding in the car and coming up to the school and looking out the window and seeing these mobs of people making all these noises and having all kinds of things in their hands, garbage can tops or whatever sticks, and just making noises. How To me, it felt like they were screaming at me because I didn't know about Tess and Leon at the time. And I just felt like if they could get to me, they'd want to kill me, and I didn't know why. I don't know, I remember going up the stairs and we went in the the four year or whatever, they had to sit in out there for a long time, like they didn't know what to do with us. But once we got in the classroom, I remember parents coming in and just grabbing their kids by the hand, because the kids sitting at the desk, and just yanking them up and taking them out of the classroom. The three of us bonded, you know, because it was just us and our teacher. And we had a great first grade teacher. Um, if she didn't want to be there, we didn't know it. She treated us fairly. She did what she had to do, and she, she, just, she was an older lady, and she was really nice to us. I guess we had a good time, best we could, at the school with just the three of us, considering what we went through. And we wait for the marshals to come and pick us up, and we skip on out to the door and go to the cars, and then go home and do the same thing over the next day. And my dad used to always say, watch the way you act and carry yourself in a certain way because people are watching you. They're watching you to see if you're gonna mess up because that's what they expect you to do. And my dad and Tessie, they work at the post office. And when that first happened, the segregation first happened, the word had got out that one of the girls, dad worked at the post office, even though it was two of them, they didn't know. And somebody took and wrote a note up on the bulletin board, post office board is different now than it was 60 years ago, saying that they wanted somebody to come forward and say, who the dad of the girl, the, they didn't say the girl, the little nigga was, that integrated the school, um, whose dad it was. And my dad and them said that as they stood around the board reading a note with their black co-workers and some of the white ones, you know, um, they say they just stood there and then the guys um, whispered to them that we got y'all back, we got y'all back. So the black guys knew who it was, you know, the white, Put guys at the post office didn't know. And I'm sure some of them were new because my dad and them had, they had a few friends too. But to say the guys whispered to them, we got y'all back, we got y'all back. You know, and that was something, you know. What they was gonna do them on their job? It was, it was two of them, but they thought it was just one. You know, when we was at McDonald 19, we had marshals. And that was to keep the crowds back. You know, but at Sims, we needed some marshals to get the parents in line for a while. And once you get them in line, that's maybe they've been okay. But Sims was a totally different experience. Okay, the first day of school when we went to Sims, the white parents were standing out there lined up in two lines, and we had to t actually walk through the lines with the parents on each side of us, saying what they were saying, and well, they didn't really touch us, but letting us know that they didn't want us at the school. And the teachers that didn't want us to be there, they let us know they didn't want us to be there. And the principal was showing up, didn't want us to be there. And it's the students, especially the older students, they didn't want us to be there. And then every day when we're coming in, we're dealing with the parents that's outside with the line for us to walk, walk through. You know, so we went there without, without the protection of the marshals. At recess time, we had, they had this like, a, I guess it was like a FICA tree, which isn't that big. And it was in the yard by the fence. And the recess time, we would all go underneath that tree because it was more than just the three of us. It might have been fifth grade. I got hit in the stomach with a baseball bat. And it wasn't an accident. It was intentional. You know, and, and to teachers, nothing happened. You know, they, my dad used to write letters, and I would bring them to the school for all the things. They would spit up on us. They ripped my dress almost completely off me. And these things, they would happen in... Nothing happened at the school because we weren't wanted there. And every day we come back, we would have to go through the same thing.
with my daddy, um, you know, he was proud of what we did, and he said that if we, even though we had went through all the things we did and all the stuff that had happened, if he had to make the choice again, he would do it again. My dad would be so excited if he was here to see what's happening. Now, they're looking down, looking at us and seeing what's happening, but if they were here, man, I swear, it would be something special to have them here.